Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these beautiful sandals. For this insole, I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video so you can check it out. So we're going to start by taking measurements. You will take the finished leg and put it together with the sole and take the measurement exactly where you did the other one. Put your stitch marker. Make sure they are the same. So for this smooth side, it's different from this inner side. So I started from the outer to the inner. And on this leg, I'm going to start from the inner side to the outer side. So tie your slip knot, remove your stitch marker, insert your crochet hook and into the slip knot. Pull through. Make one single crochet to attach. So we are going to make one chain, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are going to make up to 28 chains and we'll attach it to this side. So after my 28 chains, I remove my stitch marker and I'm attaching it to this side. So under these chains, we are going to make single crochet. So you make one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, Make up to 26 single crochet and we'll meet at the end. So at the end, I have my 26 single crochet under the chains and I'm attaching it to this side. So you insert over and pull through. You pull through the two loops. Insert in the second place, over and pull through, pull through the two loops. You turn your work. Always keep this first loop and start your single crochet in the second loop so you repeat the same to the end at the end insert and over and pull through Pull through the two loops one insert in the second place yarn over and pull through you pull through two for the second time so we are going to start single crochet again for the second row so you repeat the same to the end at the end, you insert, yarn over and pull through one, insert, yarn over and pull through two, and you turn your work. So I have four rows. I did four rows on this first strap. So at the end of the fourth row, you insert, yarn over and pull through one, insert, yarn over and pull through two, insert again yarn over and pull through for the third time so i insert to give this piece this piece here and here so on this second strap we are going to attach it in the middle so we have a total of 26 loops on this first strap and we'll divide it into three so you are going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Insert your stitch marker. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Insert your stitch marker. And we have 6 loops in the middle. So you make 1 chain. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So make up to 
14 chains i have 14 chains on my hook and you remove your stitch marker and attach it there so you make single crochet in these six loops that is in the middle make re, return your stitch marker and make another 14 chains to attach it to the other side so we have 14 chains you are going to count one two three in the third place inside yarn over and pull through then you pull through the two so now we are going to start making single crochet in this chain So you make single crochet through all the chains to the end. So at the end, I finish my single crochet through all the chains. You are going to insert it in this first place to close the gap. Okay, so you insert it in two places. Now one, insert yarn over and pull through. Insert in the second place, yarn over and pull through pull through the two for the second time so you turn your work always keep the first loop and start your single crochet in the second loop repeat to the end when you reach the end attach in two places and take it back again so this is the third row and you are going to insert it in three places two and three so we are going to make the third strap you make one chain two three four five six seven make up to 16 chains and we'll attach here So you make single crochet in the middle. Always return your stitch markers. It helps you not to be confused. So you are going to make another 16 chains and attach to the other side. After 16 chains, count 1 to 3 in the third place. Insert your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through, pull through the two loops. So we are going to do single crochet again through all the chains. Repeat the same to this single crochet side. And always return your stitch marker do single crochet to the end so at the end insert it back to that first place so that you close the gap yes you close this gap then you make two more insert yarn over and pull through one Insert in the second place, yarn over and pull through two, two times. You turn your work. So you are going to start another row of the single crochet. Repeat the same to the end. When you reach the end, attach in two places here attach in two places you take it back again always return your stitch markers so at the end of the third row you are going to insert yarn over and pull through one insert in the second place yarn over and pull through two 
insert in the third place again and over and pull through three so we, are, we have done three straps we are going to do the fourth one now this is the fourth strap so you do one chain two three make up to 18 chains and we'll attach it in the middle We are going to make another 18 chains and attach to this side. So I have 18 chains on my hook. Count 1, 2, 3 in the third place, insert and attach. So we are going to make single crochet through the chains again. You make single crochet through all these chains. So you are going to complete the fourth row then on the fifth row you are going to make 20 chains and attach on both sides on the sixth row you make 22 chains and attach on both sides so i will meet you at the end so at the end i have finished my sixth row and you cut off your thread cut off the thread and hide the excess so we are going to make this short this middle strap that we've been putting our stitch markers so you remove your stitch marker inside your crochet hook and attach so you will start making single crochet to the end of that red stitch marker At the end remove your stitch marker and make a single crochet make chain one and turn and start making the second row of single crochet now at the end we have four rows here and i've done four rows here so you make chain one cut off your thread and pull it out so we are going to make this back strap so we are going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Insert and put your stitch marker. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Insert and put your stitch marker on the other side too. So you are going to tie your slip knot remove your stitch marker insert your crochet hook and into the slip knot then you pull through pull through again to attach so you are going to make one chain two three four five six seven make up to 35 chains and we'll attach it to the other side so you turn and we'll start making single crochet under the chains one two three you make up to you make up to 36 single crochet under the chains and we'll attach it here you insert it in the second place again Yarn over and pull through. Yarn 
then you pull through two so you're going to start a row of the single crochet and this is the first row repeat the same to the end at the end insert and over and pull through one insert in the second place and over and pull through two turn your work and start the second row of single crochet Repeat the same to the end. At the end, insert yarn over and pull through, pull through two, one, insert in the second place, yarn over and pull through, pull through two for the second time. So we'll do the third row of the single crochet so you repeat the same to the end so at the end we are going to insert it only once we we'll cut off our thread pull it and hide the excess so we have 36 single crochet loops at the back we are going to put Count 14 by this side, 14 by this side, and we have 8 loops in the middle. So you remove your stitch marker and attach. And start your row of single crochet. Make chain one and turn. So at the end, I have a total of four rows, yarn over and pull through to end it. Now we are going to make this strap. These two straps you are seeing. So we have the buckle side, which is the shorter side, and it's by this ankle side. This is the ankle side, and this is where the buckle will stay. So this is the long strap. And this is where the buckle will stay. So on the buckle side, we are going to make chains 1, 2, 3, 4, Make up to 18 chains and we'll connect it to the buckle side. So after connecting it, we are going to make this side 
So we'll make 35 chains. So you make the remaining chains 35 and we'll connect it here. So after the 35 chains, we are connecting it to this side. So after connecting it here, we are going to make another 35 chains for the long strap. So I have 35 chains now for the long strap. And we'll start making one single crochet through all the chains. So you are going to repeat one single crochet through all the chains to the buckle side. So at the end you make one chain and turn and you start making the second row of single crochet. So you are going to repeat the same thing down to this side then you come back again at the end you are going to make four rows you can see it here four rows so you do second row third row and the fourth row and i'll meet you at the end so at the end i've just finished my fourth row you can see it's looking the same so for this short place that we've been putting our stitch markers you're going to insert your stitch marker remove it insert your crochet hook attach and make one row of single crochet So guys, if you're enjoying this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment for me down below. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos. You are going to do the same thing on this side. You are going to do the single crochet to the end of the eighth loop. Cut it off and pull through. So we are doing the second strap now. So you are going to make your 35 chains and attach it. Now you are attaching it by the side of the long strap. So when you finish attaching it here, you are going to make another 35 chains again to attach to the end here. I have 35 chains and I'm attaching it here. So when you are done, you are going to 
do 18 more chains for the buckle side so i have 18 chains on my hook now i'm going to turn and start making a row of the single crochet So you repeat the same to the end of the long strap here. At the end, make chain one and turn. So this is the second row. So you are going to repeat up to four rows. This is the second row. You finish the second row and add two more rows to make it four rows. And this is the end of the fourth row. So you are going to cut off your thread and pull it. So we have our two straps here. This is the long side of the strap. This is the middle side. And that is the buckle area. So we have our two buckles that we're going to attach. So you turn it this way, insert it, insert the iron in the middle there, insert again and turn it. Okay. So you fold it this way and you now use your needle and thread to sew it through. Sew this side and sew this side too. You are going to do the same thing to this other buckle. So you put it the same way. Aha. Uh -huh. You sew the both sides with needle and thread and you hide this excess thread using needle in the middle so guys at the end of the day this is how the shoe looks it looks so beautiful i don't know if you love it if you love it please give me a thumbs up it helps with the algorithm and leave a comment for me down below if you are going to try out this design and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing on this channel i bring out simple crochet diys bidding tutorials see you in my next video bye bye